Hey, this is Lily with Good Team, and I'm going to show you how to create a deal in HubSpot. Um, and this can be a pretty simple thing, but if you don't know exactly what to fill in and what the different fields mean that you need, it can be kind of confusing, especially because there are two ways to create a deal. One, you can do it with automation, depending on your um, level of your subscription to HubSpot. If you have um, marketing pro or marketing enterprise then you can use automations to create deals um, but if you don't have those and you have a lower level subscription you can manually create deals right here if you go to the crm button go to deals and then click create deal right here um, so when you first you click create deal you'll want to give your deal and name a lot of times we name deals by the prospect or the company name and then indicate what they're interested in in this deal so i would say lily um and then hubspot support so if they're interested in getting hubspot support from us and right here, depending on how many pipelines you have set up, we have multiple pipelines, so this dropdown is not grayed out. But if you only have one, then this pipeline dropdown will be it will be grayed out. Um, but here you select the pipeline that you want this deal to go into. So we want it to go into the sales pipeline. We have dependent properties set up for different pipelines. So if I click sales pipeline, these different specific properties will come up. Whereas if I click customer pipeline, there are other specific properties that will come up um, that we know we need to have certain information for each pipeline, for a deal in each pipeline. So I'm going to click sales pipeline. Um, here you will fill in the deal owner. So this is pretty much the sales rep that will um, be in charge of this deal and moving it through the buyer journey. Deal type, we don't really use it, but new businesses or existing business, you can indicate that here. Um, priority, this is for if you have a lot of deals coming in, um, maybe some deals are hot and customers want to buy right away, or maybe you have, um, this deal's gonna need a little more time. It's gonna take more time to work. Um, so you can indicate that with a low priority, a medium, or a high priority. This is just another way to segment deals um, and segment that information. Um, these are properties that we've set up, referral source. Um, we want to know where these deals are coming in from. And then commission owned to. So this is if your sales rep or commission based, um, you'll know how to properly give a sales rep um, for reporting to know how much commission they deserve um, are bringing in. The deal stage um, is the stages are basically where um, a customer is, a lead is in their journey of your uh, sales cycle. So these are default properties set up by HubSpot when you create a HubSpot account. Um, and you can change them, but um, this just indicates, yeah, where the deal is. It helps you know how far along the sales cycle there they are. So we're going to click lead in. It's a new lead. The amount here is how much the deal is bringing in, and then we'll say 1200. The close date is the projected date that you are planning for this deal to close. So if you your normal sales process is seven days or a month long, um, you can set these to always be seven days in advance. Um, whatever it is that you want these to be set for, you'd set these here. And then associating deals, associating a 
contact and a company to a deal is very important um, for automation. If you want to send and use workflows um, to send emails, like a follow-up email with a the contact of a deal, or if you want to use snippets or templates or um, a lot of the, the smart tools that, that HubSpot has for you to use, you would need to fill in the contact and the company so that when you want to pull in information from a contact that's connected to a deal, you can do that and properly get that information where you want it to go. So you would search your contact here. Um, we don't have a sample contact. It's me. Me and good team is my company. So you do that here. And then once all this information is filled in, you go through and you make sure all of the required properties are set. Then you can click create here. Or if you're doing, you have a lot of different deals that you want to create at one time, then you could click create and add another and it would load this information, create a deal, and then refresh this form for you to fill out again. You can also change this form um, based on what fields, what properties you want to be required for you to fill in for a deal. Um, whatever information you want to be on a deal, you can fill, you can change this form um, to have that information there. And once you create this deal, and click create, it will show up here in your deal board of your pipeline. Uh, and you'll be able to see all the information in the deal record, which is a lot like a contact or a company record. It's the same, it looks the same, um, and it, the functionality is the same. It's just, it is a different record from a contact or a company record. So that is how to create a deal record um, in HubSpot. I hope that was helpful. Thanks. Bye.